Welcome back savages to another video. In today's video we're going to be unboxing and setting up a brand new crypto weather miner called SkyX. Before we do the unboxing just a quick note on shipping. Shipping was really good, very smooth, no import fees whatsoever and as you can see it comes really well packed. There's actually some perforated cardboard all the way along on the edges here. It keeps it well protected. So yeah overall very impressed and they've got a bit of branding on the box as well which is nice to see. So let's crack on with the unboxing. First thing we see is a USB cable, so it's USB A to USB C. Next up is some kind of mounting screws and wall plugs, so we get them in the box as well. So next up is the SkyX100 miner itself. It comes in this neat carry case. So there we go, it's got a display on the front here as well. Extendable tripods, so if you're going to stand it on the ground you've got that. Must say a very good quality and a rubber grip on the bottom of the feet as well. In terms of on the bottom, You've got the mount, which would go in just here. And yeah, it's got a good solid build quality. This is a little cap which covers the fans on the top. Just twist that and it comes off. And there's the fans and there's an LED right here. So yeah, looks good. And that's it, nothing else is in the box. Most of this is just to protect the unit while it's in transit. On the inside of the box I've included this quick operation guide with four steps. We've done step number one which is unbox and check the parts. Number two is mount the station, we can do this a bit later on but it needs to be in an obstructed location and five or six feet above the ground. Next thing we need to do is download the app and access the data. So we've got a QR code right here so I'm going to scan this and install the app. Now when you scan the QR code it'll take you to the SkyX website and you've got an option of the Android or the iOS app. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. So once you're on this page, just click on Get, and the name of the app is SkyX Network. So we've installed the app. I'm going to click on Open. Because we're opening the app for the very first time, we're going to click on Create Account. So sign up with email. So I'm just going to enter email in there and then do Create an Account. It'll then ask you for a password followed by a username. You'll then be sent a six digit code via email that you need to enter into the app. Once you've done that you'll get onto the notifications page. You can decide whether you want to allow notifications, yes or no. I'm going to do yes. And it just says your account was successfully created. So we'll click on continue. So you've got a message here just saying earn rewards and create impact. This screen just talks about real time data. Just do continue on that. How you can explore the weather around you. Do continue to that. So now we're just going to log in with those credentials. So I've just logged in and we are on the dashboard. So what we're going to do is install the SkyX device. Um, we're going to do that by clicking on the devices tab here at the bottom. Click on the connect your device. So on here it's asking me to turn on the device and it says press the button at the bottom of the screen and wait for the screen to light up. And there we go, we've got about two bars out of three on the battery scale, so we should be okay on that. And we're getting some temperature readings on there as well. Okay, so that's on. Now we're going to click on continue. Now the app's asking to find Bluetooth devices, we'll do allow. And it's located the device via Bluetooth. So we're just going to click on it. Ask you to choose a Wi-Fi network. So I'll just go and set this up. So once you put the Wi-Fi credentials in, it'll ask you to give it a device name. So I've just done that. Click on continue. Asks you then to enable your location. I'm going to do continue on that. It'll then be asked by the app whether it can use your location. So we're going to do allow while you're using the app. And then it asks you to set the position. Once you've got that set, just click on onboarding. And that's it. Your device was successfully connected. All set and done. So we click on finished. 
and then it brings us back to the dashboard. So here we are a couple of days later in the app. Just want to show you around the dashboard. So when you open it, you're on the home screen and you'll get the temperature displayed right here. On the bottom there, you've got the balance as well in nanos and I'll explain that shortly. We click on devices. This is our device right now. And it's showing the batteries at 100%. You've got your temperature, humidity, pressure and wind. Still on the devices tab, if you just scroll up a little bit, you'll see that there's something called device settings. If we click on that, you can change things like the name of the device. You can change the Wi-Fi, device location, and you can also calibrate the device as well. If we click on the about tab just here, we'll get some device information. And you can also see some historical environmental data right here. So the next tab is Explorer. And it says you can see all the devices connected to SkyX here. So next up is the profile tab. In here you'll see all your transactions. And just by having the device connected and online, you earn 25 nanos every six hours. So at the moment we're early into the project and these nano tokens are only on testnet. So just be aware of that. So if you want to get into this project, it's a good time to get in now while it's early. We can also change a couple of settings by clicking the cog on the top right there. If we go into general units, you can change the units of the wind, temperature and humidity. Into account settings, you can change your password and you can log out as well. In terms of the display, once you've got the Wi-Fi set up, you should see the time automatically display at the top. If it doesn't, what you can do is go into the app, go into device settings, and there's a calibrate device time option just here, and you can do that manually. So in terms of other readings on the display, you've got the battery life at the top there, temperature, humidity, pressure, and wind speed. So I'm just gonna give this a flick at the top, and you'll see that the wind changes right there. So as well as the readings on the display, which goes off after a few seconds, you've also got them in the app like that. So in terms of mounting solution, we already touched on this earlier on. You've got the three feet for the tripod and you've also got holes in each one of the feet as well. So if you wanted to permanently screw it to some structure, you can do that as well. The other option you've got is if you didn't want to use the tripod feet, you can source your own mount with a quarter inch screw and you can simply just fold these feet in like such and then just connect it right here to the screw underneath the unit. Now in terms of charging the unit, it's got a built-in rechargeable battery. Now you can use the included USB cable here and just connect it right here and charge it yourself when it gets low. Stay tuned to the channel because in a follow-up video I'll be doing, I'll show you how to connect the SkyX100 up to a solar panel which is used by another solar project. However, if you just want to connect this up to a solar panel right now, you can do that. As long as you've got a USB-C cable that goes into that, you should be good to go. So if you were interested in buying this device, there's a bit more information on their webpage and shop. And you can earn weekly rewards just for turning on the station. I think one thing that gives this project an edge over a lot of other weather station type crypto projects is that it's incredibly portable. It connects via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so therefore you could either have it fixed in your backyard and using the Wi-Fi from your home, or you can just throw it in a backpack, go camping with it, connect to it via Bluetooth and be able to gain access to the weather wherever you go. And I think that's quite a unique selling point of this project. This part just talks about getting rewarded for the data you provide and send to the SkyX networks. In return, you'll receive nano tokens. And we already touched on this. This is just the various features of the Sky X100. That's the specification right there. And this is all the features of it. So you've got the wind cup at the top. This part here is the air pressure sensor and also has the temperature and humidity sensor in there as well. As mentioned, it does connect via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I've already mentioned the construction of the tripod legs, which is very good alloy. You've got the backlit LCD screen. You've also got the threaded screw at the bottom, which I mentioned, so you can plug in your own mount. And you've got screw holes there if you want to secure the actual tripod itself to some kind of a base and hold it in place. 
and this is what it kind of looks in person. So you've got different mounting options, but it still works quite well. So when you're buying the Sky 100, there's two options for buying. You can buy the standard edition, which comes without the solar panel, or you can choose one that comes with a solar panel. Now the bonus for you savages is I can give you a discount code that'll give you $40 off your order. All you need to do is click on add to cart. When you're at the checkout, click add a token. In there, enter this code and click on apply. And you will get a nice tasty $40 off your order. So there you go savages, that is the SkyX100 Crypto Weather Miner. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy the SkyX100. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Please share, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.